bioweapons and biodefense are very different. So are there places where people are growing infectious agents that pose threats to humans? Yes, they're doing this all over the world. They're doing this in the United States, you know, in at the NIH and at the CDC. They're doing it in China, you know, at variety of labs that I know about. They're doing it in India at the NIV in Pune. They're doing it all over the world. They're doing it in Europe. But in those instances, people are not trying to develop weapons. They're simply growing infectious agents so that they can test the impact of vaccines and drugs so that in the event that something were ever to happen, we would have tools to control them, to reduce morbidity, to reduce mortality, to reduce the economic consequences. And that is defensive. That is very different than what we're talking about elsewhere. And I can tell you that at least, you know, my knowledge of what's of India and of the US and of Europe and Australia, I can tell you that nobody is making weapons.